Welcome to Swampland. Population. Back to Lego Star Wars. Luke only. We haven't recorded in a month and a half. Yeah, and, look at this. Uh, so we're back. Yeah. You know what this is, Zach? What is it? First recording session of 2018. <laughs> Dude, are you ready for some hot, hot jams? I'm gonna give you some you ready for some sexy hot takes. action? Hot action only here on SPG, nowhere else. All the new drama. All, all the new heights and lows. All of the new R2-D2 penises. Only on SPG. Oh, yeah. All the new drama. Check it out. Dude, did you hear about Logan Paul? Oh my god. Isn't he the one who saw the dead man? <laughs> the, That's old <laughs> for when that, we're recording, so it, by it the time the, it comes out... He'll probably really have old. actually killed a person. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah probably. <laughs> That's Honestly. the new drama. Dude, what a guy. he's such a savage! <laughs> dude, straight savage, dude. <laughs> uh, savage was never cool, and then it became less cool. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I can't. That's because I gotta do it. Oh, well, thanks for killing me. Well, you move. Uh, I respect women. Get out the way. <laughs> <laughs> R2, you're supposed to be my friend. Well, I hate sand. Dude, that was four episodes. That was four. We didn't say it then. We'll say it now. I hate sand. I hate sand. I hate swamps. Swamps. More like... I don't know what rhymes with swamps. I think that's... Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Oh, you're white. Yo, you're white. Luke is white. He is a white boy. Ohio. You know what came out? What came out? The new Star Wars. Oh boy, everyone's favorite Star Wars. Everyone. I, I don't know a single person who doesn't like it. I don't know a single person who um, doesn't think it was retarded. You know, I'm, I'm just going to say it, I liked it. Did you? I. Did you actually though? Yes. Well, I enjoyed... The parts that I enjoyed outweighed the parts that I didn't like. Spoilers! I liked when Yoda showed up. Wow! Good one. I thought it was... You know what? Yoda was pretty silly. I, it's cool how they used the old puppet. I actually didn't know that when I was watching it the first time. So I was like, this Yoda well, looks could, pretty gross. I could tell you. <laughs> Why did, I didn't know. I thought it was just they were bad at CGI. Oh. I yeah. thought it was just really shitty, like shittily done. But yeah, then it's no, like, that makes sense. Yeah. Like, I could tell something was off, and I'm like, oh, they're just probably using the original puppet. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> it looks sense. weird. But yeah, so, yeah, I, I like, that part's pretty cool. But I mean, the intro part, like, the we're, during this whole space battle thing, that, I was so erect in the theaters while watching that, you have no idea. So that, that's, like, after that, it was kind of like, the movie can't really do any wrong, even though it did a lot of wrong over and over. My favorite part was before they established the story. And then after <laughs> once everything they, else was just everything else was just awful. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, like, yeah, I don't know. It <laughs> I mean I I didn't like uh, I definitely get why people don't like it, because I mean what well, yeah. Ching Ching lady. Okay. She was I you know what the Asian girl. The Asian yes. lady. <laughs> she was not. She was, she was unnecessary. The, worst the casino I've planet was seen. unnecessary. Kind of like the casino planet. No, aesthetically it was cool, but it was unnecessary for the plot. Right. It was stupid. Purple haired lady was stupid. Just. Yeah. A, a lot of things were just silly. Everything was just dumb. Yeah. I like the parts with Luke and Ray and Kylo Ren. Everything else was funny. Dude, do you ship Raylo? Dude, I, sh I ship Rook. Rook? <laughs> there we go. I oh, ship, yeah. I ship Ray and Chewbacca. I ship Chewbacca and that orange furry thing. <laughs> uh, that everyone's freaking out about on the internet. Are they? They're all like, it's so cute. Oh, my angle had something to it. Um, I mean, it was just kind of all right. Yeah. It was an all right. Yeah. It was a 5 out of 10. 5 out of 10? You know what, I can see that. 
Maybe six, if I'm generous. <laughs> You're such a generous man. Whoa. But I'm not five out of ten. Five out of ten? It was Final just, answer. it was too... It felt like I was watching a Marvel movie. It was too humorous. Yeah, that was kind of... The, the humor was kind of weird. It was, it was too forced. It was everywhere. Yeah, <laughs> I wasn't... I wasn't expecting it. No. Okay, imagine... You know how the seventh movie ended? Where it was like... You know, she finds Luke and she hands him the lightsaber and then it ends. Right. Can you imagine if it ended right, like, ten seconds after that where he takes it and throws it off the cliff? And then that's how the seventh movie ended. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I just feel like as it's supposed to be the second movie in a trilogy, so it's, it's supposed to take off where the first movie ended... I just feel like well, here's the they thing. didn't take off where the first movie ended. Right, but that's because it was two different people directing it. Yeah, that's true. That that's really it. Really showed. That's the I think that's the biggest issue. Yeah, they should have had the same director. Like, for the whole movie. yeah, because with and you get tonal shifts and it's just like oh yeah okay what is this? And really, like the thing with Snoke, like first of all, honestly, I didn't really care too much. I didn't really care that they killed off. Uh, spo spoilers, spoilers, and care. Yeah, we're past spoilers at this point. Uh, no, I kill didn't, Snoke. I don't care. I didn't care. Yeah, I didn't care. I, I, I feel like they're gonna do that anyways. Did you? Because I, I don't know. I felt like Kylo Ren was gonna be like the main bad guy. Yeah. But I mean, like he was clearly set up to be this big character in the. What is? Yeah. And then it pops up. And so he was supposed to be a big character, like they set him up to be a big character. Yeah. But then, no, it wasn't. Now I can't. I don't really care. Yeah. Come on, Yoda. Come on, Yoda. Jump on me. Ride it. Ride me, bitch. Oh, yeah. Dude, Yoda's going that whiplash. Nay. That's what BDSM sounds like, right? Hell yeah. Those are the noises you hear from the parents' bedroom. Oh! oh yeah. You weren't supposed to burn yourself. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> You're like, damn straight my parents do that. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> she zoink, Scoob, too far. Chinkies, we gotta get out of here. Okay, what, what's going on in this level? Uh, Luke... Luke's training to be a Jedi. I remember. Um, do you not know this from uh, hour 31? Hour 31? <laughs> One hour, 31 minutes, and 23 seconds into Star Wars Episode 5, Empire Strikes Back. I didn't actually. Do you not remember the part where he pulled he a tractor out, out of this? <laughs> da, 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 da. I didn't keep going. There we go. We can drive the tractor up. She thinks my tractor's sexy. It really turns her on. I fucking hate country so much, dude. <laughs> country music. Oh, it's. Uh, they play it at Rona. And it's one of the songs that always plays. She thinks my tractor's sexy. It really turns her on. Oh my god. It's so fucking stupid. What's sexy about a tractor? <laughs> what does um, that mean? I don't think you know, dude. What does it mean? What does it mean? What does it mean? Help. Help on it. <laughs> yeah, let's write, let's, let's write our let's own... Let's write our own country, country song. Country song. Okay, what's, right. what's the premise? What's the name of the song? Uh, Pickup Truck. D red... Red pickup truck on the dirt road. Okay. I'm driving down the road with my dog. I got fired from my job. I, I hit my wife today. <laughs> Domestic then... abuse is okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm driving along and on the road I see a red beauty of a girl. But I ain't no girl. 
It's a tractor. It's a red pickup truck. So I get out of my my other truck. And I say to my pooch, sit here, bitch. I'm I'm going to check her out. With my ice cold beer. So I see the Chevrolet. And I say, hooray. Top of the Billboard charts, 100. <laughs> oh, you have to end the song. I thought that was the... Okay, keep no, going. What? Keep going. <laughs> the song isn't that easy. Watch pick up truck. Wait, what? Fuck. I open up the I door. I open up the door. <laughs> Why are you singing over me? Because uh, uh, it's a duo. We, no, we gotta take turns. Okay. <laughs> I open up... Uh, <laughs> I, didn't, I was laughing. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I, I'm open. I open up for the doors of the truck, and I see a couple in it. They say, "What are you doing, opening up my truck?" And they say, and I say, <laughs> "Oh fuck." <laughs> So I pull up my gun and I look at the sun and I shoot the sun because I do not like the sun. I think this just became an emo song. It's not really country anymore. I don't know where I'm going with this, though. No, I don't. Get to the point. <laughs> Two people start to bone. I take out my Toblerone. I... I eat my sweets in my red pickup truck. There we go. What's the next? No, it's not over yet. Oh, it's yet. not. What's, okay, what's Jesus. What's the next line, Zach? Uh, so wait, where do we end off? <laughs> He's eating a Toblerone as Tol he's watching these people bone on the side of the road. So, uh, I went to the store. In the back of their trucky whore, we got some beer, and then we said, never fear, because I got a friend, a friend in me. me. <laughs>